So this question says the measure of angle R is 2 pi over 3 radians. The measure of angle T is 5 pi over 12 radians greater than the measure of angle R. So I'm going to simplify. I'm going to treat this like a simplified question. It's not our typical simplified question. But, you know, I want to make sure I understand what angle T actually is. Because we gave, we were given some instructions for how to find it. But I want to know exactly what it is. So basically it's saying angle T is angle R, 2 pi over 3, plus an additional 5 pi over 12. In order for me to add these fractions, I have to have a common denominator. So I'm going to multiply this fraction by 4 over 4, which would give me, therefore, that first fraction would turn into an 8 pi over 12 plus that original 5 pi over 12 that the question provided, which then, because now I have common denominator, I could just add the numerators together and keep the denominator the same. I'd have 13 pi over 12. All right, so now I know what angle T actually is. It's 13 pi over 12. What is the measure of angle T in degrees? Okay, so I have to now do some unit conversion so I'll just write that down for your notes. Unit conversion. And the way we convert from radians to degrees is through this conversion factor. Pi radians equals 180 degrees. So because I haven't written, oh, I'll write it here, whatever. So 13 pi over 12 radians. So I'm going to multiply that by my conversion factor making sure to put the unit that I want to cancel out on the bottom so that it's diagonal here and it can be canceled, and the unit that I want to introduce on the top, 180 degrees. Okay, so I think that's about done. So now just for some, some simplification, 12 and 180 can be simplified. 12 goes into 12 once. 12 goes into 180 15 times. So all I have left here is 13 times 15. I'm going to go to my calculator to find that answer. 13 times 15 is 195. So that's my answer, 195 degrees. So choice C is correct.